please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Jordan Brown. And I'm Taylor Law Liberty. Today is Thursday, February 22nd. Coming up, we have a message from Mrs. Malinowski. Also, we have Kyle with your weather outlook. We'll be right back with all of this and your school news. Class news. Seniors will have a senior class meeting in the new gym on Friday right after the Minithon assembly. This class meeting is mandatory and will cover the final class fundraiser, the prom, and the class trip. Seniors, in order to purchase your ticket to the prom, your class dues must be paid first. Stop by room 809 with your $40 this week or be sure to bring your money to class meeting on Friday. Checks can be made payable to CCHS class of 2018. In club news, mark the state on your calendars. Minithon will be held on April 13th. Be there and help raise money for the kids. This Friday is Hat Day supporting Minithon. The cost is $1 to participate. Pick up your Minithon sticker in one of three locations. Outside the LGI, in the 200 hallway, and by the main office. No sticker, no hat. In school news, the Vietnam lock will be held this Friday after school until 6.30 p.m. There will be lots of food and, of course, lots of prizes. The theme for the lock-in is beachwear. This is also the theme for the student section at the boys' basketball game. Show your support for the basketball team this Friday by wearing school-appropriate beachwear. Tickets are $4. Also, no painted faces or bodies are allowed. Luke Clarkson, Amy Johns, Adam Lair, and Morgan Kreider, please report to room 413 immediately following this announcement. Any track and field athlete needing a concussion test should report to room 701 at 245 today to take your concussion test. If you're not sure, see Coach Risser in room 112 or Coach Schulteis in room 201 or Coach Wagner in room 206. The Valentine's Day school shooting at Parkland High School has mobilized a student movement about gun control and raised fears about school safety. In the spring of 2014, a potential school shooting at our school was stopped not by police or the school warrant officer, but by a group of students who spoke up when they saw something suspicious. Cedar Crest High School graduates Nick Wise and Tim Sensenig produced this piece about the threat. It aired nationally on PBS NewsHour in 2015. You know, the first thing I do when I wake up every morning is think about the safety and security of all students here. It's actually even before education, just because of school safety, how it's been in the media, and unfortunately, you know, things that have happened over the last number of years. I was actually out of the building the day that this occurred, and I received a text message from Miss May, who is an assistant principal here. She asked me if I could call ASAP. She had something very important to discuss with me. What Ms. May was calling about was a threat made by two students in March of 2014 to walk through these halls, gunning down students. I have to thank and applaud the students who came forward and shared that information with Ms. May because if it wasn't for them, who knows what would have happened here. I mean, I knew it was a threat, and I knew that if I didn't do something and if like my fellow students didn't do something, uh, it could have been a pretty big tragedy. I sat at the one kid's lunch table. At first it was kind of like, he would kind of like bring it up every now and again, but it like wasn't a recurring thing. Then it escalated pretty quickly and things were said and items were shown that just, I knew there was a serious threat. A couple weeks later he started bringing this like school shooting thing up and he would joke about it a little bit. And I was like, oh, whatever. I mean, I'll just let him go. And then like a month or two, it kind of like disappeared and like it didn't come up. Then he came with a map and was like, yo guys, look at this. This is what I'm going to do. And I was like, dude, that's, that's too far. A lot of students looked at that as a, just a joke. The weekend prior to us receiving this information, there was an incident that happened outside of school um, that prompted some students to put two and two together and made them think that this might really happen. That incident made it real for a lot of individuals that yes, it could happen here. After Matt and a few other students reported the threat to Miss May, an investigation took place that led to the arrest of the two potential shooters. It was after this incident that the seriousness of the situation was revealed to the public, causing the spread of various rumors. I heard everything from like, they had guns already in the school, 
to uh, he actually shot somebody and just some really wacky ones. The students and parents of Cedar Crest put the responsibility of safety on district police officers Kristen Hauk and Justin Schlotman. But as Matt has shown, a gun and a badge aren't always the first lines of defense. I feel they did the right thing. They um, took some concern for the lives of their There's no perfect scenario. If nothing was said, what you know, you can sit there and go through your mind, what could have happened, what would have happened. We reacted accordingly and made sure all the students were safe. Who are you supposed to go to? You do your best to prepare for it. Having a proactive approach rather than a reactive approach is more beneficial. It's almost like the school's your community. And I'm only one person and I only have one set of eyes. And we can't be everywhere all the time. But you, the students, they're all over the place. Those are extra sets of eyes. Those are extra people in your community that are able to see what's happening. You know, some people might be afraid to say stuff, and it happens out on the street. It's not a bother. I'd rather investigate something and find out it's false rather than it be, you know, somebody not say something, something terrible happened here, and that person has the guilt of, oh, I could have said something, but I chose not to. It's a form of community policing, and it's not snitching, it's doing the right thing. Everyone needs to pitch in to keep everyone else safe. It just goes to show that like one comment can just ruin your life. And I feel like it wasn't blown out of proportion because a lot of people make threats. You gotta address them because sometimes they'll actually turn out to be a real incident. And then you're the one that just shrugged off the threat and let it happen. And you have to live with that then for the rest of your life. Students often know what's going on before the adults in a school. It is important to tell someone if you see, so see or hear something that does not seem right. This is Melanowski is in the studio to talk about keeping our school safe. As principal of Cedar Crest High School, your safety is our top priority. But being safe isn't just about Officer Slotman and Officer Tribioli walking the halls every day. It is a responsibility of every single person in this building, including you. If you see something that doesn't look right or sound right, speak up. Tell an adult. Tell someone who takes you seriously and will notify us of the situation. Our number one goal is that all of you, including us, return, return home safe to our families every night. But this can only happen if we work together for the safety and security of all. I know there are many ideas being circulated on social media about a National Student Walkout Day. As your principal, I want to support you, but want to be proactive about planning the events and plan it together. I truly believe walking out will do nothing to change us here at Cedar Crest. I'd like us to be different and come up with something that makes us unique. We want everyone here to know they are accepted, appreciated, and able to be themselves. So if you would like to be a part of our Falcons Make a Difference movement, please join me next Monday in the library at 245. We have done a lot to protect our students and staff, but we want to discuss what additional measures we can take to keep us safe and also have our voices heard. If you have an idea about how we as a school can support each other, please plan on joining us next Monday, February 26th at 2.45 in the high school library. We want to support you, support us, so that we are never a victim of a tragic event. The school safety meeting will be held on Monday, February 26th at 2.45 in the library and all students are welcome to bring their ideas. And now we send it over to Kyle with your weekend weather outlook. Kyle, are we going to have a warm weekend? We are going to have above average temperatures with some rain on the side, so even though we are going to have some more temperatures, can't do much outside. But for today, we're going to have rain here and there throughout the day with a high of 44 and a low of 35, which will continue into tomorrow with a high of 42 and a low of 35, and it will continue into the weekend on Saturday. It will just be a few showers here and there, so not as bad, but it will still have a high of 50 and a low of 46. Then finally, we're going to get rid of this rain with... Rain in the morning gave away to cloudy conditions in the afternoon for a high of 61 and a low of 37. That's all for your weekend weather outlook. Back to Jordan and Taylor. The following students please report to the nurse's office following the announcements. Emily Fathery, J. Ro Garcia, Regan Harvey, Angel Madera, and Mackendra Stockton. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Jordan Brown. And I'm Taylor Law Liberty. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.